give everybody a chance bad. to catch up a little bit. It's probably going to be around dinner time or a little bit after that, and then the snow comes to an end, and we, we start to get a little bit, uh, a little bit of a, a chance to, as we mentioned, get caught up. Nancy Burton, thanks very much. Thank you. Let's go out to the airport again. We actually have a crew there now that can let Tom Brockman go live. We can see your face now. Tom Brockman at Port Columbus. Well, as you just heard, it's no day for driving and certainly no day for flying effect. You can just tell the, the wind is being, I don't know, that it, it's just being blown in my face. It's actually painful on the left side of my face. That's the direction the wind is blowing. Now, I just put my head inside the terminal about a half hour ago and found that about 75% of all the flights coming in and leaving from Port, Port, uh, Port Columbus, well, they're either canceled or delayed. There's a lot of people inside that are just trying to buy their time on laptops, sitting on the floor. Some of them are even sleeping on the floor literally stuck in the airport because, as you can see, it's uh, not going to do them much use trying to get out of here. Now, about a half hour ago, my photographer, John Root, tells me, you can see the control tower. Now, you can't see it now because that's how hard the snow is blowing. But about 200 yards that way is the control tower, and that can tell you just how quickly these conditions are changing. The snow is, is still being blown, and it's still piling up on the ground. And you can tell this parking lot where the post office here near the airport has been plowed recently, but there's no use in trying to drive anywhere today, and so don't be on the roads if you don't have to. Report a live Port Columbus, Tom Brockman, ABC4. And of course, if you do, if you were supposed to travel out of Port Columbus today, just check the website, and most of those flights are canceled. Yeah.